on Minnesota for locking down Mike Conley. I really liked the Mike Conley acquisition when the Timberwolves first made it at last year's deadline. I thought he was like that perfect piece that they needed because it's like you have the two franchise pillars on offense and Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns. And then from there, it's always about, okay, how do we fill in the cracks around those guys with not just talent, but the right kind of talent. And I think Mike Conley, it's like, he's like the perfect point guard that I envision for them. Someone who can, for one, play off the ball, which he's done a lot this year. He's at 44% from three on over five attempts a game. And when you look at an Anthony Edwards, when you look at a Carl Anthony Towns, both of those guys are supremely talented bucket getters, but they're not so great playmakers. They're not so great at, you know, getting their teammates involved. And I think it sort of compares similarly to what the Clippers were before James Harden, where they have Kawhi, they have Paul George, but like their offense was always such a mess because like they just didn't know how to run an offense. Like sure, they could just, you know, score baskets and win games based on the sheer talent of those two guys, but until they had someone who could, you know, set up the right plays and know which plays to call and, you know, put guys in the position they need to be, like, their offense was always going to be limited. And I think I felt the same way about Minnesota, but I think Conley helped solve a lot of those issues. This dude has run successful teams. You know, the Grizzlies were a consistent playoff threat and Conley was the engine behind them on offense. He just knows how to direct traffic. And I think that's something this Timberwolves team needed before he got there. And I think it's been such a great boost for them since he's arrived. And then defensively, I mean, the dude 36, he obviously can't lock up the way he once did, but like at the very least, this dude is a smart veteran who at a bare minimum is going to try really hard and is always going to know where he has to be. Whether he can get there in time, given his age and probably limited mobility is another question. But the dude is smart and smarts are definitely a big part of the battle when it comes to guarding. And so to trade for that guy and then lock him in for another two years, I think it's a great move for the Timberwolves, 21 million, which I mean, 10 and a half million a year is really just not a lot in the NBA anymore, especially for your starting point guard. I think it was a great decision for Minnesota to lock him in as part of their core, at least for the short term, because again, he fits exactly what they need, where he might not be the biggest name, he might not be, you know, flirting with all-star appearances or all NBA team selections, but like, he fits the cracks around, you know, Anthony Edwards, around Carl Anthony Towns, and around Rudy Gobert. Him and Gobert had such great chemistry during their time in Utah, that's carried over to Minnesota. Every team needs the role players, every team needs the complementary pieces around their big guys, and Mike Conley is one of those guys, and I think he's the perfect one for Minnesota, and so to lock that in uh, for the immediate future, uh, especially when you consider the success it's led to so far this season, uh, I think was a great move and at a very, you know, reasonable salary. So it just seems like a win-win because then obviously Conley, you know, gets some financial security as well.